All right, this morning I'm just going to show you real quick how to set up uh, the basic parameters of uh, vCarve here. Uh, we have uh, the startup tasks once you open up vCarve. And we're going to start just by creating a new file. Now, uh, we will set the width and height based on the board that we want. So that's the job setup and X and Y. So my board is going to be 11 inches wide and uh, 8 inches uh, tall there, or the height is 8 inches. And in this case, uh, it's kind of a glue up, so my thickness on this is actually 1.5 inches. Now, I'm going to set Z0 at the top. Notice I can set Z0 at the bottom of the part, uh, but for safety reasons, we're always going to be setting Z0 up at the top. And then my X datum position, that's a fancy name for where you want your X0, Y0 location. Now in general, if I'm making a circular or oval shaped parts, I'll generally go off of the actual center of the board. But if you got a square part, of course, you can choose any of the four corners on that part to set. Now in general, especially if you're doing multiple pieces, uh, you want to choose the corner where you're going to put some fixed stops so that you can just kind of set the next piece and run multiples. Uh, so in this case, most of the time uh, with the way my particular machine is set up, um, I've got some positive stops uh, on the bottom as I got a rail going this way and a rail going that way. So I usually will use the uh, lower right hand corner for my X0, Y0 position. And you'll see here that in your display screen, uh, it actually shows the red uh, square uh, to let you know where your X0, Y0 datum position is. You can also sec select inches or millimeters depending on what your units are that you're working in. I tend to always work in inches, so I just keep that always checked and then to complete your job set up here you just click OK. Now that brings you up into all of your other file operations now you can uh, you can start creating vectors, transform objects, all sorts of things in here uh, and you can start to do this where you're drawing on the actual board here to create your lines that you're going to use for your toolpaths. Now if at any point you decide that you need to change the size, and you can see up here I've got a scale, so it's uh, um, going from zero, because remember I set my uh, zero comma zero down here in the corner, so up here on the scale I'm seeing zero, and it goes over to 11 inches, so it shows me that. Uh, down here on the other one I'm at zero here, and it goes up to 8 inches, and it shows me that. But let's say I decide that I need to change this. Um, uh, for any reason, all I have to do is go right back over here to my file operations, uh, go back to job setup, dimensions and origin, uh, click on that, it just brings me back in there. At this point I decided, well, I really don't want it to be um, 8 by 11, I actually want it to be 8 by 10. So I can just change that, it does it on the fly. Um, and I actually want my uh, X 0, Y, 0 datum position to come in the center, so I can go ahead and change that. So, and hit OK. So now notice how your X, 0, Y, 0, and this makes sense, I'm now at 0 here in the center. Uh, you follow over, I'm 5 inches going this way and 5 inches going that way for a total of 10. And the same way here uh, in the Y axis, I'm uh, four inches going that way and four inches minus four inches going that way for a total of eight inches that way. And that is how we would set up the initial job setup uh, for our dimensions and our origin points. Thanks for watching.